be a people person. You got this, you little introvert, you. Talk to people like you know stuff. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm an artist. I make things, and then I sell those things. And then I talk to people on the internet about how to also make things and sell things. I have wanted to make YouTube videos for a while. Like me talking to you, telling you something that you want to listen to. It is on my to-do list every year. Back in 2017, I was like, I'm gonna start making YouTube videos. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna talk to you and tell you things and we'll all learn and we'll be better artists and it'll be a happy fun time and like, yay, success. But uh, then I didn't. And then the next year came around and, and, then, I, and then I still didn't make videos. And, and then, and then the next year came around and I still didn't make videos. Uh, and then I found myself January of this year, like rehearsing a script in my head. Did I make videos then? N no, I didn't. Cause I kept making excuses as to why I can't do this yet. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm an artist and I make excuses. The excuses that artists make to avoid creating. Number one, I am not an artist. I hear so many artists say that and I do consulting work one-on-one -on -one with artists and they will be making art. They will be showing me their Instagram profile that is full of art and they will say, but I'm not an artist. As if there is some like point that you hit in life where suddenly you're like, yes, I'm an artist. I have the permission to create now. This is a bull excuse. Like you, you can make art. You can make art right now. If you're making art, then you're an artist. Maybe you do this as a hobby. Maybe you do this as art therapy. Maybe you just want to have fun and try something. Like the identity of artist, the, uh, the title of artist, you don't need to have that in order to make art. So if you're using that as an excuse to not make art, then you're just standing in your own way. Number two, but I'm not good at art. So uh, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care if you are good at art. I don't care if you are horrible at it. I don't care what kind of art you're making. Like anything that you do, the more you do it, the better that you're gonna get. Uh, if you suck at art right now, the only way to get better at art is to do art. So if you are preventing yourself from making more art because you think that you suck at art right now, then you're, you're not gonna get better. So again, just make art. Like the more you make, the better you're gonna get. It's, it's inevitable. You're gonna see skills improve. You're gonna learn some things. You're gonna find your style. Just keep, just keep creating. It doesn't matter if you're good at art. It doesn't matter if you ever get to a point of being a professional artist. Like, if art brings you joy, you should make that art. And if you suck at art, and you keep pushing, and see that evolution within yourself, like, I look at some of my art from the past, and oh lordy, is it cringy. Like, whew, I got some real, some real bad art in my past. But, I also have years and years and years of improvement and experience. And the more that I do this, the more satisfaction it brings me. So not a good excuse. doesn't matter if you're good. I want you to make art. Number three, but I don't have the right supplies. This one is tricky because obviously, like if you want to paint, you need some paint and some paintbrushes, but you don't necessarily need the expensive stuff. Granted, me making these YouTube videos, I, I kind of need like that camera and well, or a camera, I guess I could have used my phone. No, I'm, no, I'm not gonna cut myself any slack. I could have been making these videos with my smartphone years ago. Yeah, I wasted so much time. Art supplies are expensive. There's a lot that goes into making the art that you want to make, but you can build up to these places. So if you don't have the right supplies right now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to have the right supplies in the future. If you want to start painting, it's okay to start out with the crappiest supplies that you can find. 
I get it that you want to make the art that you have in mind, but the key is to just do art with the supplies that you have on hand. Not having the right supplies doesn't need to be a barrier. This can actually be a limitation that forces you to become more creative. When you reimagine the supplies that you have and see how you can make the best use of what you do have, you can go down new creative avenues that you didn't know were possible. Not having the right supplies is just an excuse. If you want to make art, make art with what you have. Make the best use of what you have around you. Number four, but there are more talented creators out there. The trap of comparison sucks. I still do it. I have to be mindful of who I'm looking at to make sure that I don't psych myself out of doing something before I even like take the first step to doing it. You can kill a lot of creative dreams by comparing yourself to somebody else before you even get started. Saying there are way more talented creators out there as an excuse for you creating art is that it's just an excuse. There are so many voices out there. There are so many creators out there, but that doesn't mean that your voice isn't valid. It doesn't mean that there's no place for you in the art world. You have a different perspective. You have different experiences. You have something new to offer. Don't look at another creator and measure your progress to theirs. Don't think that because you're not doing something exactly the way that they are, that you're not as good as them. And don't think that you need to do what everybody else does. There's so much opportunity for growth and so much opportunity for you to figure out who you are as a creator, the more that you explore the art that you want to make. There are so many talented creators out there and I do, I fall into this trap a lot. You know, I will see an artist and I will think, oh my God, the work is so good. Like, I wish that I could create art like that. But I create my art. There are flaws within it. There are things that I wish were different. There are skills that I want to improve, but this is mine. And the more I push, the more I discover about myself. I don't wanna be like every other artist. I want to find my own success. Stopping yourself from creating because there are other talented creators out there. You're just doing yourself a disservice. You're holding yourself back where you could be creating and finding your voice and finding other people that resonate with your voice. That's the coolest part about being a creative person is putting your work out there and finding out who it speaks to and being surprised with how your work speaks to others. It's not necessarily about your technical skill or your subject matter. Like the heart of your art will show through. So don't compare yourself to other creators. If you are going to compare yourself to other artists, make sure that you're drawing inspiration from them. And once you start to feel yourself crumble inside because you are internalizing flaws or thinking that you're not as good as them, then you need to step away. Don't consume other people's art when you're in that space. Like, other creators will always be more talented than you. Always. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't make art. And that doesn't mean that you can't find success or that your voice shouldn't be added to the mix. Make your art. Last one, number five. But I won't succeed. Do you ever think about what you want to do so hard that you talk yourself out of it? Like, of course you have, because... Those other four excuses, like, it's, it's, it's the same thing. But I won't succeed. Like, this is something that has held me back. This is something that held me back from making these videos because maybe I am holding on to this idea of if I don't get a million subscribers or, you know, be YouTube famous, that that's not success. Maybe if you have this idea that, you know, if you're not in a gallery show by the time you're 25 years old, that you haven't succeeded. Success looks different for everybody and having rigid expectations for your success will hold you back. So saying I won't succeed or, you know, I don't want to do this because I'm not going to be as good as that other person. You're denying yourself a lot of opportunities. You have no idea what is going to pop up, what's going to come in your path as you, you know, make your art and release it into the world. And as long as you are making art, and doing something that brings you joy, you've already succeeded. Like stopping yourself from making art is the true failure. Stopping yourself before you even like have a chance to get started and figure out your voice, that's failure. But finding success, there are so many different ways that you can be successful. Maybe five people are gonna watch this video. I don't know. The success is the fact that I'm sitting right here 
That camera is on. I think it's on. Oh God, is it on? Yeah, cool, cool, yeah, it's on. I'm here, I'm making it. I have an idea, I'm following it through. Maybe it sucks, I don't know. Maybe I'm not using the right supplies, I don't know. Maybe the audio is gonna suck. Maybe the lighting sucks. Maybe I should have put on makeup. Who cares? Stop making excuses, make the art. I'm doing this more for me than for you at the moment. So, make your art. We all make excuses, but make more art than you make excuses. Thank you for watching. I hope that you got something out of this. If you want to support more content like this, I guess like it, subscribe to my channel, do whatever it is that every other YouTuber tells you to do. Uh, click the, the bell. I'm probably not going to post a lot of videos consistently. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I'll like, maybe this like did it. Maybe this like release the creativity, make all the videos, but uh, probably not. But yeah, if you want to see more videos, that's cool. Let me know. Uh, I like to share information with other artists. I want you to be more creative. I want you to get out of your own way. I want you to make art. The world needs more art. There's a lot of art out there, but the world needs more. Like, that's what makes life pretty cool. Creativity! Yay!